Hello, welcome to another video. So today I'm out in the woods because it's raining, well sort of raining, it's not raining, it is raining. It's um, such a fine mist of uh, rain as you can see there. It's, it, it sort of comes and goes in the wind, it sort of blows it in and then it just uh, disappears again. Um, so I'm hoping to grab an image um, or two of some isolated trees and just coming up here this I think would make quite a nice image um, so I'll grab an image of that but I'm ideally looking for trees to isolate in this um, weather though it's like I said it's not a, it's not super fine but it's uh, it's fine enough to give us that separation and uh, I'm just trying to find somewhere to put you down so I can take an image and uh, it's um, definitely, definitely got the potential to get a good image. Okay, so I think that just down here has some potential. Um, I'm very aware that as you get close to stuff, it's sort of, uh, the mist seems to be drawing away from you. But I think if I get into the wood a little bit, um, isolate some of the trees in there, I can make quite a nice image out of that. Now, forestry uh, photography has never really been my strong point. I'm not, I'm not the greatest at picking out compositions in the woods, even though I really do enjoy being in the woods. Um, just whatever I see just never looks as good once I've taken the image. So that being said, when you've got conditions like this, it's hard not to get a good image. I'm sticking my neck out there because I'm saying this image is gonna come out really good, but a moth flying around. But um, yeah, I think, I think when the conditions are right, you're uh, hard pressed. Well, I'd say you're hard pressed to go wrong, but let's hope I don't prove myself wrong. Yeah, that is looking really nice. Now I'm trying not to um, get the entire height in, so I'm staying on uh, landscape orientation because I want to try and cut off halfway, just halfway up the trees and just grab this image as a possibly a square, uh, framing it with this tree here and this tree here, um, including that broken um, tree in the foreground there I think uh, I'm trying to stick you down there I think that's going to um, give you a focal point to lead into the forest with so yeah I think this one is a winner um, I might stack just for the focus just to try and get everything in focus so I might just do that quickly my settings at the moment are ISO 100, F for a sixth of a second. I'll just grab the same image, but without that tree in it, and then bring it in a bit closer, and then just... Uh, compare the two and see which one I like better I'm probably gonna say the other one the first one looks better but 
You never know. Do you know what? I'm just going to put the cable release on because I'm on like one third, one one third of a second. So just to uh, make sure there's no camera shake there. Um, so there is barely any rain at all. It's just a really fine mist, um, which is really good. Okay, so I've just come down, I'm at the opposite end where that first picture was taken and I've looked back up and I've noticed this path that goes all the way up to the top. So the question is, how do I take this image? So I can bring it in from the bottom left corner all the way up through and then so it disappears off. Um, so it's positioning where I position my cameras to how it's going to look. Um, the other option is over here around the other side of this tree because the path goes all the way down here and just bringing it in just including this very edge of the path here um, but in the frame bringing the path in from the uh, bottom left and bringing it around that tree and then up and then out into the distance all the way up uh, the top there so it's just trying to find trying to find the right composition to include as much of that path as I can. And I think the one I'm going for is the one, this, the last one that I just showed you, um, just because I think it works better bringing it in from the bottom left down this bottom half here, rather than um, this one seems quite, it's, it's almost like uh, a very sharp introduction to the path, if that makes sense. Whereas uh, bringing it in uh, this side it gradually comes into the frame and then goes up uh, into the, the rest of the image um, so that's that's the composition I'm going for I think uh, I might give that one a try just as just to uh, settle my curiosity uh, and I'll pop them both up actually yeah so I will give that a try and I'll pop them both up and you can let me know which one you think works the best so um, so I'm coming in as high as I can really I've got this the stem up um, using the intervalometer for to reduce the camera shake and I'm trying to bring this path in so it almost comes across three quarters of the bottom of the frame so it's it's not a really sharp introduction like I said before probably what I'll do is I'll do some dodging and burning on the left of the image there's quite a lot of grass um, and maybe a little bit on the right just so your um, main focus is the path and uh, yeah so the settings for this are let's have a look. so one stop underexposed we are one second at f11 iso 100 then I'm going to bring that down to a two second exposure to give me a correct exposure and then I'm going to pop that down to 3.2 second exposure to give me one stop over or thereabouts. just to see whether I do bracket, um, do whether I do stack them and get the most out of the shadows and the uh, highlights. So let's move. So the, 
So the second chart I've gone for is just down here, and then obviously it goes up through there. So the tree sort of goes around, the path goes around the tree, you can see um, this tree here, and then comes off out the back. I will pop both images up on the screen and let me know what you think. I'm going to head back up now because we've lost all that uh, moisture in the air. So we're back to just a normal woodland now. Um, I'm hoping maybe up the top, still, there's still a little bit up there, but I'm not holding my breath. Um, if not, that will be the end of this very short video. Okay, so within half an hour or so of me arriving, um, with all that mist, it's completely gone, as you can see around me now. Absolutely crazy. And now we've got the sun coming through, um, but we've still got quite a bit of rain coming in. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but yeah. So just just goes to show how quick things change. And it's, a, it's 20 past five in the uh, afternoon, so um, I wasn't really expecting the conditions that we got, so, but I'm really glad I came out. Um, even if it was just for that one image, that first image, I thought um, worth coming out for, I think. So, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of you that have supported my channel. Um, liking, subscribing and commenting and just watching my videos in general. I appreciate that massively. Uh, we've got uh, 14th of May will be my first year on YouTube and not on this channel obviously um, but my other channel and I'll be doing a channel update on that as to where the channel is going to go in the next year or so. Um, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be quite interesting this next year on YouTube. It's going to be quite interesting so watch out for that video. Um, yeah. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.